Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial we are going to talk about middleware in Laravel. So first of all, we will talk about what is middleware and why we use middleware. And after that, we will talk about how we can use middleware in Laravel. So first of all, what is middleware and why we need to use middleware. Now let's say we have a base in our website and we only on the admin to have access to that base. Then we need to use middleware. Middleware will allow us to make some conditions so that users will not have access to that certain admin page. We cannot not only use middleware for like admin access, we can also middleware for other condition as well. Let's say if a user is not over 18 years old, then we will not let that user to access to a certain page. Then at that place, we can also use middlewares. So let me just show you with the example how we can use middleware. So here you can see I have created a fresh Laravel project over here. So first of all in this project let me just add Breeze authentication over here. So I'll just go to the go to the common prompt and over here I'm going to write composer require Laravel slash Breeze. So it will install Breeze in our Laravel project. So here you can see it is installing and the installation is complete. So after this command, we we'll saw over here php artisan press clone install. Then press enter. And here I'll choose blade. We'll say zero over here. We we'll saw over here dark port no and no. So it will install breeze in our project. So using the breeze example, I'm going to show you how you can like allow only the admin have access to a certain page. So in that certain page, the user won't be able to have access. So after this, I'm just going to show over here npm install. And right now we'll show over here npm run build. Okay, so npm run build is also done. So right now, if we just refresh our browser over here, here you can see we have login and register option over here. And this is our register page. So, so right now, one more thing we'll do is that we'll just go to our project over here and we'll just actually go to the database migration and inside migration, we have the user table. So in this user table, we'll take one more extra field over here. So let me just copy this and I'm going to paste this over here and here we are going to say user type user type and let's say over here user type will be null able okay so right now we'll save this then we'll just run the command php addition migrate so let's say over here php artisan migrate press enter and the table is migrated so right now if we just go to our database table then let's refresh here and this is our table uh, database and here you can see the user table so we have name email and user type over here so let's just register a user let's over here test then we saw over here test at the of gmail.com let's keep a password then confirm password click register okay it took us to the dashboard so right now if we just refresh over here uh, here you can see the user type is null over here. So right now let's go and create a page and we'll only let the user type admin to have access to that certain page. So let's go to our code again. And right now let's go to our resource views and inside views let's just create a view over here. Let's say it will be admin page dot blade dot php. Then save it control s and then save. So in this admin page, let's just over here normal HTML and inside the body, we're going to say H on only admin have access to this page. So right now we'll go to our routes and create a URL so that we can return a view to this admin page dot plate dot PHP. So let's go to our routes, then web dot PHP and I already added the home controller at the top. So here I'm just going to say route double clone get and here we'll say let's say slash it will be admin page then we'll come over here to third bracket and then we're going to say here home controller double clone class comma let's say the function name will be index okay so let me just make this a little bit smaller so right now let's go to our home controller and create this function index so we'll go to app HTTP controller and 
home controller so right now here we are going to say public function index to first bracket then to second bracket and from here we'll just return a view to the this page uh, admin page dot blade dot php so we'll say over here admin page so right now let's save this and save over here and here so right now if we just write this in the browser it will return us this view uh, this view okay so let me just refresh over here and if we just write over here admin page then if you now press enter here you can see we are currently in the admin page only admin have access to this page now the thing is we only want the admin to have access to this page and clearly this user is not admin here you can see user type is null so for it what we need to do is that we need to use middleware so how we can use middleware and how we can first create a middleware so in order to create a middleware we need to write this command and that is php artisan make clone middle w a r e middleware and then we need to give our middleware name let's our middleware name will be admin and normally we need to start it with capital okay so then if we press enter here you can see middleware is created and where is the middleware so right now if we just go to our code code and then here if we just go to the let me just show you if we just go to app then http and inside http you'll see the middleware folder over here and inside middleware here you can see we have admin.php middleware created over here so first of all uh, what you need to do is that we need to register this admin.php middleware in this kernel.php over here so where is the kernel.php here you can see if you just go inside the http here you can see kernel.php so we'll just directly go to kernel.php and we'll just directly go down and over here you can see middleware aliases so here we are going to register our admin middleware so first of all here we are going to give two single quotation and let's say over here admin then we'll say over here equal and here you can see admin this is just a variable you can basically name this anything so don't worry and after this we need to give this backslash over here then we need to say over here app again backslash then we saw it here http backslash it will be middleware backslash and we'll say over here admin double clone class then we'll give a comma word here so this is how basically we need to write to register our admin middleware over here okay so where is the admin middleware this one so once you just write this it means our middleware is registered so you can just close the kernel.php so right now we need to go to our middleware and inside middleware we have admin.php so inside this admin.php we need to write our condition over here inside this public function handle okay so here we will give a if condition and here first of all we will check if the user type is admin if the user type is admin only then we we'll let the user have access to this page so for it what we need to do is that we'll say over here first if auth first bracket then this arrow sign and we'll mention the table name which is user so we'll say over here user to first bracket this arrow sign after this we'll say the table column name which is user type then we'll give double equal and let's say the value for the user type will be admin so when the value for the user type is admin only then we'll let the user to have access to that certain page okay so we'll just cut this return next to over here it means if the user type is admin you are okay to go to that page else we'll just say over here a b o r t abroad we'll just show a message that 4 o on it means you are unauthorized so right now let's save this so how we can apply this for a view so for it we need to go to our web.php and here you can see we have the view admin page so here all you need to do is that at the end of this route we'll give this arrow sign and we'll say over here middle or to first bracket to single quotation and we'll say over here admin so where is this admin coming from and here uh, if we just go to kernel.php here you already saw over here that i write over here admin this admin is basically 
this one so whenever someone call this middleware admin then it means uh, we are basically pointing this on and our this admin is will point at middleware admin which is this one and then it will eventually come to this and check the user type and decide whether let the user have access to that certain page or not so right now currently uh, obviously the user type is null so right now uh, here if we now refresh over here okay it is giving us a error in the kernel.php line 67 expecting okay let me just go back let's go to our kernel.php and here uh, we need to give this arrow sign here so we'll just say this okay so i made a mistake over here so right now let's save this again and if we now refresh here here you can see it is showing us a message that unauthorized 401 which we just uh, right over here so right now let's go and make the user type admin so let's go to our database table and here let me just change the user type to admin and here you can see right now the user type is admin and here if we now try to access to this admin page and refresh over here here you can see we can have the access to this page so right now I would like to show you one more thing and that is if we just go back and here if we just log out from here and here if we just server here slash admin page and press enter it will give us an error and that is attempt to read property user type on null. The reason is here you can see that whenever we are trying to go this URL it is calling the middleware admin and in the admin middleware we are mentioning the auth over here auth user table so basically it cannot find the auth user table that's why it is giving us the error so uh, what we can do is that for the solution all we need to do is that we just need to give to third bracket over here and here and then before this we'll give to single quotation with our here auth like this okay so it means it will check the auth first and if there is no logged in user then it will send the user to the login dashboard okay so right now let's save this again and let's go back let's refresh here and if we now try to access to the admin page and it is sending us to the login page so right now let's log in from here let's say test at the top gmail.com let's keep the password click login so it took us to the user dashboard so since the user type is admin so we obviously can have access to the admin page if we see over here admin page we have the access and if we just remove the user type admin to let's say user or anything else here you can see the types user so right now if i now refresh here here you can see it is returning us a unauthorized view so this is all about this tutorial i hope you are clear about the concept of how you can use middleware basically using middleware you can stop the user from having access to certain page or certain data so basically this is all i hope this tutorial was useful to you if you want more tutorial like this make sure to subscribe i will really appreciate that as well thanks for watching i hope to see you in the future tutorials